your stuff away and check out for the day There's no time to waste when it's 100 degrees Burns under my feet, won't you have a drink with me? Saludo a todos los que nos ven desde Sonte. Alright, thank you. Por lo loco. Buenas. Hola. ¿Es okay para video? Sí, no Hi, I'm, I'm Jeff. I'm from Germany. I came down here to Bitcoin Beach and adopting Bitcoin to, to learn more about Bitcoin adoption in El Salvador and see how it's, how it's going. Um, and right now we're at the, the, the market at Bitcoin Beach um, looking at a little bit of swag, probably going to get a coconut, coconut <laughs> and drink it, pay, pay in sets and take home some good memories with me. All right. Hey, thank you very much. You're welcome. I think it's not that common now. You're the first German I've met in a while down here. Oh really? I, we, yeah. we have quite a few. I met like 50. Really? We're we in a group of roughly 30 this year. Yeah. And it's the third year I'm coming in like every year. The world down here is it's amazing. In El Salvador, smallest country down here. Yeah. And all these people are coming in. Yeah. Um, Hola. Hola. How, how long have you been staying here? Uh, a little over a year and a half. Have you seen lots of changes? Uh, there's, yeah, there's been, been a few changes. Hola. Hola. Buenas. Buenas. 
Hello everybody, greetings from El Salvador. Here we find ourselves at Playa El Zonte, well known worldwide as Bitcoin Beach. Uh, after legal tender uh, was part of our law uh, two years ago. So I'm happy, my name is Jorge Cruz Rubio. I am a producer and exporter of some of the finest coffees from El Salvador. I represent the BioCrop project by Tierra Bendita, which is a consortium of 25 small and medium-sized farmers from different regions of El Salvador. But because uh, our proof of work, our energy and our time is uh, based on coffee production and we and trying to get away from the fiat system as a financial instrument being a commodity, we decided that the meaning for us that the Satoshi is, is the coffee beans. Each coffee bean is like a sat for us, but because all, that's what we work for. We're not competitive at mining, but we're competitive at producing good coffee. So uh, traceability is the, the other important thing that we want to showcase. Each bag has a QR that takes to the farmer's information, georeference, uh, notes of the, of the coffee, because some people want some complex attributes of coffee when they try it. Some people like uh, semi-wash because they like a clean and balanced cup. Speaking, speaking of things that are finite, uh, we, we have this vehicle here, which is a, a Cherito. That is why we, our name, the Cherito Cafe, because we want everybody to know that in 1974, the Cherito car was assembled in El Salvador by Fabrica Superior de Centro America, and there were 1,100 units made. What does that mean? That there's 21 million, uh, there's only one Cherito now, but there's 21 million Bitcoin, but there's only one Cherito. How do I know? Because you can, when we restore this car, it took us like five years to bring it, because there was every, I checked all the junkyards of El Salvador, and I, it was hard to find one. So Cherito in Salvadorian Spanish means buddy. Cherito. And this is Leo, our Bitcoin barista. He's, he's on, he works on the Bitcoin standard. So, uh, some of the drinks we have are, uh, aside from coffee, we have a, a mixology, like tonic espresso, and the beach is very nice. So, you can find us on Twitter, at Cherito Cafe, and on Instagram, just cheritocafe.sv. Thank you for, for watching and uh, we hope that we can get these coffees from farm to your table in the U.S.
es uh, muy bueno. Real. be pretty good uh, got a large band this is at Bitcoin festival and this is the last day so I'm open for some really good music I don't think I'm gonna be disappointed let's listen Bitcoin Festival 2023 was a success. They had tons of people show up the three days it was going. The first day I did a short video. There was like three or four tour buses, I believe, out front on the highway that were bringing people in. Uh, the second and the third day, and the third day, man, was just, it was fun. It was, it was just networking. There was vendors. There was food and then there is that beach and that beach is beautiful el zante's beach is great and what what a place to host an event like that but i'll tell you this i'll tell you this i've got to start watching myself a little bit more because just a couple of days before at the bitcoin farmers market james the guy that organized it had ribs baked potatoes he was he was barbecuing up and i had a plate of that and then at this event i had some pork ribs and a whole whole plate of sides i'm gonna get fat if i don't watch it 
it's uh, it's some good food though. They really uh, they really do good. And then all the other vendors, you can go out and sample. There was uh, the, the one of the bakery shops here in Libertad had their stuff out there. Good stuff, good stuff. But anyway, yeah, I've got to start watching that. Hey, thanks for watching this video, and check out some of the other videos I've got. I have all El Salvador videos. There's a couple from Guatemala and Honduras that are in there as well. Uh, it'll give you an idea of what's going on down here. Contrary to some of the negative stuff you hear about on media, uh, you really just need to check it out and explore all the options and listen to everything and then, then, then try to figure out exactly what's real and what's not. Okay, I'm going to leave you with a band. And this is not just a regular band, not just a group of El Salvadorian guys coming together to, to crank out some music. Uh-uh, no. These guys are actually prisoners of El Salvador. And due to their good behavior and musical skill, they're able to go out to these events, special events, and perform. And uh, so it's a, basically a reward for them. And it was definitely a reward for me and the rest of the people that were there uh, for the festival and the music. So please stick around, listen to the band a little bit. They are very, very good. Until next time, it's hasta luego. And I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you.